Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Bible Stories with Victor, where we dive into the most epic tales from the Bible and find out how they relate to our lives today. Today, I've got a story for you guys. It's got everything. Danger, suspense, hatred, jealousy, and the miraculous twist. It's the story of Daniel in the lion's den, and it's one of the most jaw-dropping tales in the Bible. So if you're ready for some Three, three. Come closer. Let's just so, here's the scoop. Daniel was a pretty important guy in the kingdom of Persia, and he was so good at his job that King Darius wanted to put him in charge of everything. But this made some of the officials very, very jealous. Jealousy, jealousy. They wanted to get rid of Daniel, and that was the problem. They wanted to get rid of him, and this guy didn't have any debt on him. He was so clean. Since they couldn't dig up any debt on him, these jealous officials actually went to King Darius and they convinced him that no one should pray to any other person for the next 30 days. They should only pray to him and that anybody that does not pray to him, King Darius himself, will get trained into the lion's den. Daniel heard about the law and he couldn't just stop praying. This guy wasn't about to stop praying just because of some, of some law. What did he do? He went to his house, this guy, this guy, <laughs> Daniel. Because it was pretty important. He went to his house, took the guy opened the window. Everywhere. He opened the window and then he went on his knees and he started praying. Now, as he was praying, they saw him. Of course, he was praying on him, so they were gonna see him anyways. Because they saw him, they went to report him to King Darius. Like, Sir, we saw one man, oh, one man, we know we be, but he just yeah, he just got on his knees, they pray, you know they pray to you, they pray to God, so they pray to God. You see now, nah, God will be like this. King Darius was devastated, he was like, oh no, he shouldn't have been Daniel. He just had to stick to the law he had made because back then, if he made the law, he got to stick to the law. So he had Daniel thrown into the lion's den and he, he personally oversaw the throwing into the den actually. And before he left the place, he told Daniel, he said, Daniel, I just hope that the Lord you serve is going to protect you from this lion. King Darius went to his house that particular night. So devastated because he thought Daniel was going to die. King Darius went back to his palace and this guy couldn't eat. He couldn't sleep. He was just there thinking about how he was about to lose someone very, very valuable because Daniel was such an important person. But the next morning, King Darius ran out of the palace to the lion's den as fast as he could just to check on Daniel to see if Daniel was okay. He shouted at the top of his lungs, Daniel, child of the living God, are you alive? Did God save you from the lions? And then I responded, Yes, my God sent his angels and they shut the mouth of the lion. They have not eaten me because I was found innocent in his sight. Talk about divine protection, right? So King Darius was overjoyed that Daniel didn't die in the lion's den. Immediately, the king issued a new order that every single person in the kingdom must save Daniel's God because he is the one true God and is the God that endures forever. What an incredible testament to the power of faith and God's protection. What can we learn from Daniel's story? The first thing we can learn from Daniel's story is staying true to our faith. He didn't let the fear of what was going to happen stop him from praying to God, even though that was the right thing to do. He could have said, I don't want to die, but he had to pray because that was the right thing to do. And he prayed unto God, and the God that he served didn't disappoint him. The second thing we can learn from Daniel's story is that God's protection is real and powerful and is ready to save us in the lion's den moments in our lives and is ready to see us through those moments and bring us through safely now i would love to hear from you guys what bible story do you want to hear next is there one that you've always been curious about or one that i just posted to drop your suggestions in the comment below if you enjoyed today's story please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one shalom